Good morning and praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for joining with me again on this Wednesday for morning prayer and devotion. I appreciate each of you so very much. I want to share with you a couple of or a few good reports this morning. First of all, Cheryl LaChance uh, reported yesterday that she was feeling better. Judy Williams' uncle, Wayne Owens, is doing better and is starting therapy this week. And Anthony Sifford did great with therapy once again yesterday. He was on the speaking valve for 30 consecutive minutes and is getting much stronger with his right hand. However, the permanent stiff placement is not going to happen until early next week because he has to be off the plavix for five days prior to the surgery. So let's continue to pray for him and for this procedure to go off without a hitch. Also, we need to pray for our fellow prayer team member, Johnny Nelson. Uh, he's been through quite an ordeal in recent weeks, uh, having a lot of scans and studies done, trying to find the cause of his pain. And he is having an MRI this morning. He's at the VA, I believe, in Fayetteville, Arkansas. He's been in very intense pain and needs a touch of the Lord today. Melissa Pritzolt has breast cancer and is really believing for healing. So we're going to join together with her. Uh, Star Ramey submitted that request for us uh, yesterday. Virginia Pride, my aunt, needs prayer for a new situation that's developed. She has an infection in her jaw that does not have an apparent cause, uh, such as tooth, saliva gland, or lymph node. But the jaw is swollen, tender, and warm to the touch, and looks like it may possibly be chemo-driven. Pastor Chris Dew uh, is in the hospital with Guillain-Barre syndrome, and they're planning to move him to a long-term care facility. And he has been on a ventilator for quite some time, which they have to be able to wean him off of before they can start any therapy. And if they cannot do that, they're going to have to go with nursing home placement at some point, and we're praying against that. He's a young man and uh, needs healing. His church needs him. His family needs him uh, as he is the sole provider for them. Uh, my wife, Jamie, is needing a healing touch this morning. Um, came down with fever, body aches, weakness, and sore throat yesterday afternoon, and I'm not running far behind her on those symptoms, so uh, we're praying this is just a, a small 24-hour bug and we'll be back to 100% very, very, very soon. Um, the Hamiltons lost a granddaughter on the 14th, leaving behind a son and daughter. Uh, let's continue to pray uh, for this family and for Pastor Del Holman's sis, uh, family as they lost his sister Hope last Thursday morning. And uh, I'm going to do this just a little differently this morning due to the fact that my voice is um, a little weak um, from whatever's going on here physically. I'm not going to read all of our needs today. Uh, I just read the new needs that have been posted. And if you do have a new need that you want to share this morning, go ahead and do that. Um, and then I will post a complete list of the things we pray about daily uh, on the video for you. And I will call those needs out as we go along uh, in our prayer this morning. But just to save my voice, um, we'll just, uh, I've only listed the new needs actually vocally here for you this morning. Good morning to you, Kristen and Sherman and Pam. God bless you today. Ben and Robert, good to see you. Judy is with us today. Uh, Johnny is with us this morning. Um, a lot of you are signing on here because I can see that there's 10 on the screen, but I don't see 10 names quite yet. Uh, but we're thankful for each of you joining with us as you do each and every weekday morning. And that is so much uh, appreciated. I want to read to you this morning from Deuteronomy 31. Deuteronomy 31 and 6 says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them, for the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. I notice that that scripture basically is uh, referenced uh, in Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and 6. And many times we read a verse and 
And uh, we have that one reference that we go by, but if we'll look around, a lot of times the things we see in the New Testament, uh, many many quotations come from uh, the Old Testament and many references uh, that the apostles are using. They're pulling directly from some of these Old Testament passages. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6, this is the King James Version. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Uh, Jesus himself said that he would never leave or forsake us. He said, I am with you, lo, I am with you hallway, even unto the end of the world. And so we can be confident this morning that God is with us and he is not going to leave us. He is not going to forsake us. And we all have this fear, I believe, of being left. Um, maybe perhaps at some point in your childhood you experienced uh, the reality of that miscommunication or whatever. I don't think I can ever say that I remember being left. Um, but I do remember a few times wires getting crossed and nobody showing up to pick me up whenever they were supposed to be there after a school event or something like that. But we each have this fear, and and it also manifests in other ways in our lives as adults. Maybe um, it wasn't being left on the playground at school where everyone was chosen but you, but maybe your spouse chose someone else after he made vows to you. Maybe the job that you wanted or the promotion you worked so hard for went to someone else. Being left behind or being uh, not chosen happens to all of us, and it is very hurtful. And it hurts so much that sometimes we end up building our lives around the fear of that happening again, when the truth is all the time that we've been afraid of being left, our Father our Heavenly Father is standing nearby choosing us and promising to never leave us, to never forsake us, not even to the end of time. And I pray that these words will sink deep into those hurting parts of your heart today and uh, you will learn uh, to overcome that fear. God has chosen us. He said, you have not chosen me. I have chosen you. He has not left us behind and he is with us in every situation today. So if you feel alone this morning, um, if you're facing that fear, I want you just to turn that over to the Lord and trust in him today because he has said it numerous times in his word. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He's with you right now in whatever circumstance that you find yourself in. Let's just go to the Lord right now and just thank him for that promise. And let's thank him for his hand that's upon our lives today. Lord, we thank you today for the promises of your word. We thank you that you are with us. You're with us in sickness. You're with us in times of distress. You're with us when our minds are tormented and whenever we're feeling like we should just simply throw in the towel. It is your presence, God, that pulls us back from the brink and reminds us that we are never, never truly alone. I thank you for your constant presence in my life. I thank you for being there, Lord, through thick and through thin, in the difficult times and in the joyous times. And I give you the praise today for your blessings upon my life and upon this team today. I know, God, that your comfort and your help is here with each one today. The Hamilton family grieving the loss of their granddaughter and those children grieving the loss of their mother. You're with them right now. Comfort their hearts, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray for Brother Holman and his family that you would continue to comfort them today. In Jesus' name, we pray for Johnny this morning, God, that your will would be done in his situation. He needs your healing touch right now. And we thank you, Lord, in advance for his healing. We pray for Melissa Prince Hope. We're believing with her for healing of breast cancer. I pray, Lord, this morning for my Aunt Virginia that you would reach down and touch her body, this new situation of infection in her jaw. We come against that in Jesus' name. We believe for the swelling, the tenderness, and the warmth in that area 
to resolve in your mighty name. Hallelujah. Give her strength, Lord, as she continues through chemotherapy. We pray for Pastor Christopher Dew and his family. God, you are the mighty God. You are our healer this morning. You are able to do anything. And I pray, God, that you would raise him up today, that he would be able to come off of that ventilator in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, you're the one that created us and breathed the breath of life into us. And we believe for you to give him strength, Lord, today to breathe on his own and to fully recover. Lord, touch my wife today. Minister healing to her in Jesus' name. Lord, I need your touch today, and I thank you for it. I praise you for the strength that you give in Jesus' name. Lord, you see these who are battling with migraine headaches today. Touch Beth and Marcia and Melena and Marcia's co-worker's son. We pray for the children who are suffering in body today that you would reach down and minister to them and deliver them from every affliction. Hallelujah. You're Lord over all today. We give you the praise. We praise you for healing of stomach problems right now, healing of diabetes and heart issues in the mighty name of Jesus. Each one of these on our list, God, they're in the palm of your hand. You are in control today. You're in control of Rick Merrick's situation. We're believing God that his test will come back negative for leukemia. We believe for Sister Sullivan to be healed completely of lupus and autoimmune disease. We believe for Bob Perkins to be healed of these shingles affecting his eyesight. We pray for Ginger Williams for healing of hernia and diverticulitis. We believe for healing of MS today for Sarah and Marty, Riley and Tracy. We believe for continued recovery for all of these who have suffered stroke. Anthony and Wayne, Billy, Huey, and Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon. We lift up Tina's mother and Johnny's nephew, Joey, and Sheila Sappington. Each one of them today, we know, God, you're giving them strength for full recovery. We pray for Dalton and Seth today recovering from surgery, surgical procedures. We believe for Pastor David Kitt to be raised up completely whole. In Jesus' name, we pray for Stephen as he recovers from recent bypass surgery. For those with chronic lung and respiratory conditions, those battling COVID and the flu and pneumonia, hallelujah. We believe God for complete healing for AJ today. For these who are battling cancer, Michelle Clark and Michelle Strain's sister Cindy, Johnny's cousin Kathy, we believe for Christy Smith and Sawyer and Cheryl and Diane Escher. We pray for Venus's niece Heather and for Dennis Phelps, for Sherry, for Bob Stanley, for Scott Lucia, for Kristen's friend Betty. We lift up Ari Bowers once again. We pray for Carmen's cousin Amanda. We lift up Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Alice, and Alicia. We pray for Tony again today and Marcia's friend's grandparents. We believe God for complete healing, complete victory over every cancer cell. In Jesus' name, we believe for Darla Crane, for her chemotherapy to go well, and for this brain cancer that's been removed to never return. We believe for Erica Ruff, Lord, for her upcoming cancer follow-up to go well. For those with back issues, those with pain in their joints and mobility problems today, we believe for their healing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for healing of arthritis, healing of Parkinson's disease, healing of dementia, healing of these chronic head injury issues. Hallelujah. You are able, God, to do anything. You are peace and our strength. You are our hope. You are our righteousness. You are everything today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you the praise, Lord, for moving in every health need today, moving in every hospice situation, moving in every nursing home, residence life today, encouraging them, strengthening them, we're believing for compassionate and competent care for those loved ones who are in these long-term care facilities. We pray for the staff today, God, that you administer to them as well and strengthen them. We pray, God, for our missionaries overseas, our missionaries here at home in North America. We believe, God, for your help and for your, um, your wisdom to be granted to them, your favor, God, your strength that they can continue to do your work. We lift up Judy and Mike's grandson, Andrew, Johnny's nephew in the military, Lord, that you would keep your hand upon them where they're stationed in these uh, areas that are uh, torn apart by war right now. 
that need so desperately for an end to those situations. We pray for Ukraine today. In Jesus' name, move there for our missionaries. We give you the praise and the glory. Move in these spiritual and family needs today. Move in the lives of our loved ones, God. Move in these recovery ministries that are reaching to those who are addicted today. We give you the praise and the glory, Lord, for all that you're doing in our lives. Hallelujah. We lay every unspoken need at your feet this morning, and we trust you with these situations. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we commit this day to you. We know you're walking with us, God. We know you're with us today, God. You're directing our paths. You're guiding our footsteps. Help us, God, to do your will more perfectly in Jesus' name. And we thank you. We thank you for this team. We thank you for our brothers and sisters who are praying with us and for us. Hallelujah. You are so good. You are so wonderful. Blessed be your name forevermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a sacred presence of God that's with us today. Thank you for praying with us and for us today. And we know that God is going to give strength to each one that's battling any type of illness. There's so much going on right now. Uh, so many that are battling sickness. And uh, we're believing for God's touch for each and every one of you. And looking forward to praying with you again tomorrow right here on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m. I pray that you will be able to join us and to influence someone else to be a part of this prayer gathering. God bless you in Jesus' name. We'll see you tomorrow morning.